Well, the one thing Oklahoma had a chance to expand that lead early, but they didn't shoot well enough. And if you allow the home team to get back in the game, you know they will. Well, this crowd got back into it, especially after Schwarzenegger hit a jump shot. That got them going. And look at Asbury's club on a run over the last four. Very aggressive type coaches, and his teams play hard. They're now going to throw a little 2-3 zone, and it's aggressive. Look how they're guarding outside. Erdman's a shooter, Barnes is a shooter, Ryan Miner's a shooter, and Foster's hit shots. Oh, good pass. Blocked, though. Boy, the combination of Davis and Aker, awfully tough inside. Take a look at the Wildcat defense. The bounce pass, there's one, two, three, four, five jerseys come into the picture. Would he have been better to take that ball straight up instead of putting it on the floor? He probably would have, or once he'd ball faked, as everyone comes in, you might have to pitch it out. Foster's got the Wildcats' attention. Now Miner. Oh, that's an air ball. Talk about cold. Wow. He wasn't ready to shoot it when he caught it. He caught it and then thought about shooting. And Aker. Dave, you have that feeling the K-State players have a lot of confidence going right now. They're staying in the zone. It's aggressive. Good hands by Young. A chance to tie. Miner with the steal. Sooners can go for the last shot. Foster, he can't hit it. You see the time remaining in the first half. Craig Kilborn coming up with sports smash at halftime. But Kansas State closes out the half on a 14-5 run to pull to within two. Coming up on Sports Match with Craig Kilborn, the UConn-Villanova highlights, the Illinois-Michigan highlights, along with the NBA and NHL. Wildcats with a basketball trailing by two as the second half begins. Oklahoma 1-3-1 zone defense. You're going to find shots in the corner, and if you get it to the middle, you can kick it out the other side for easy jump shots. There it is. May off the glass. Well, I think Tom Asbury drew up a couple things in the locker room and said, hey, guys, it's a simple zone, sometimes a 3-2, sometimes a 1-3-1. One, one. Here's what we need to do. They had a good shot that time. Now a 16-5 run for the Wildcats. Watch K-State play defense. They're allowing just one-on-one. -on -one. They don't need any help inside because Aker can take care of his own self with Evan. Another block for Aker. Abercrombie lost his footing, and they're going to call a foul now on Kansas State. A lot of times when the ball goes inside, defenses will collapse. Well, Aker doesn't need any help. He's handled Evans so far. Evans, a freshman, is going to make a move. You know what? He had him on his feet right away. Probably should have gone up. He waited. Nice block shot. Tyrone Davis with his second foul. First team foul for the Wildcats this half. Every time from the underneath out of bounds, Kansas State goes to the 2-3 zone. Evans. Well, you can see now he is being bothered by Aker. Young, fake twice, maybe out of rhythm, took that shot. Well, tough. He wanted to throw it to Davis. They tempted Mark Young to shoot, and they will. Young's kind of a sporadic shooter. Makes a few, misses a few. About a 40% shooter on the year. Erdman had it blocked, but a foul on Young. Let's take a look statistically at the numbers from that first half. Well, we saw Oklahoma early make some shots, and they dropped off considerably. That allowed K-State to get back in the ballgame. The thing that was surprising, Kansas State has nine turnovers all against his own defense, and you really don't want to have that happen. And both teams, though, woeful from the field, under 40% in that first half. The Sooners closed the first half, John. They had to miss 10 of their last 11 shots. And frustrating because Ryan Miner had a couple looks that were pretty good. The other ones he forced, and that's really the main part of their offense. Erdman gives the Sooners the lead again with those free throws, 30-28. You know, Erdman's a good-looking player. 6'5", 210 pounds, very athletic, jumps well, shoots it well. He'll be a force to be reckoned with as he gets used to playing with his teammates. He's got to be one of the coach's favorites, though, coming <laughs> with Kelvin Sampson from Washington State. Young, 
Boy, is that a tough shot? Oh, I should say. He passed up maybe an easy one and took a tough one, but he knocked it in. Got it up over Bobby Joe Evans. Now we're tied again. Kelvin Sampson loves to run a 1-4 high offense. Now Foster trying to pick up where he left off in that first half. What the oh toughest goodness. shot Miner's taken. <laughs> well, let's see. When you're in a shooting slump, let's try a 360 left-handed slash half hook. You know what, though? When a shooter gets one to go, he might run the table now. Mm -hmm. Well, the one thing I like about Miner, though, is he continues to shoot the ball. He knows the offense has got to come from him. He's not going to stop. And he's a tough kid. He wants to win ball games. May, no. But right there for the putback is Tyrone Davis. How many times do they say most of the shots go to the weak side? Tyrone right there to put it in. Is that true? Most shots go to the weak side? They do, from one side to the other. Most shots are a little long. It kicks across the way. I wonder I could never get any rebounds. <laughs> Get it to go, but he saves the ball to Foster. Oh, tough shot. And not a good shot. And now here comes May pushing it up to Young with Davis. Great pass. Well, I thought it was a tough pass to handle. Davis caught it, laid it in. First time the Wildcats have led since it was two to nothing. Crombie quiets the crowd. Well, you mentioned Abercrombie early on. He had foul trouble. He's the guy that he can go to inside. He is so tough. Very quick with the basketball. Back to man-to-man. -man, the change of the defense. Now K-State has to switch offensively what they want to do. So just when the Wildcats were starting to get comfortable, Kelvin Sampson changes things up on him. Heads up play by Hatcher to get it back out to Young with 10 on the shot clock. Hatcher, no. Foster trying to skirt the sideline, can't do it. Kansas State right now a little bit more aggressive than Oklahoma, attacking the glass, going to the board, trying to get second shots. Oklahoma has to regroup and come out a little stronger. Kelvin Sampson thinking this is all his bad back needed, a tight game in Manhattan. We're tied at 34. Beat Iowa last year. It's going to be a tight race in the Big Ten, as will this Big Eight. Baker, no. Evans has the easy rebound. And let's see the adjustments the coaches have made after that last media timeout. Here's a 1-4 high. When you watch Ryan Miner, see if they set picks. Right now, Oklahoma, as I watch it, they're not setting very good picks for each other. And that doesn't free anybody up. Doesn't take the defense away. Evans can't get it to go. On the floor, who's got it? Foster comes out with it. Well, Evans is a freshman. He's 0 for 4 the second half. And he keeps going. Knocks it home. <laughs> but he, he's almost like the focal point right now. It looks like they want to get it inside him to go to work. Well, Evans, as you mentioned, he's taken five shots this half. Looks like it's become an inside game with Aker and Evans. Looks like contact before the shot. That's going to be the third foul on Bobby Joe Evans. <laughs> Samson looking to pick up where the Sooners left off last year, an outstanding inaugural year for Samson Sooners. Oh, good pass. Move to the basket by Paco May. Now Foster comes down with it. Good pass. Oh, wow. Erdman to Miner. Nice unselfish play. Nice unselfish play. Erdman just a little quick pass back to Miner. Four points, Sooner lead. Love to see Elliot Hatcher get warmed up and get on track. His first basket, he is one of six from the field, so he needs to get going. Hitting 40% of his threes this year. What's interesting, Miner's coming off picks, but his defender's still there, so nobody's setting picks for him. 
Boy, tough moves inside by Bobby Joe Evans. Dave, are you?